So, the question is, where was Jesus before he became the flesh? Oh dear, this is simple to answer. Jesus was with God, in the beginning, as mentioned in John chapter 1 verse 1. If Jesus was with God, you said it, that means, Jesus is also, God. To make you understand better, Jesus was begotten out of God, in spirit form. My question to you is, is Jesus also, a God? No, Jesus is not the God. You mean to say that, Jesus was with God, but Jesus is not the God. Am I right? Yes, you are absolutely, correct. But why do people call him, Lord? Oh, don't you worry about the Lord thing. It's just a generic name, to mean, Sir or Master. So, it is basically, Sir or Master or Teacher. Am I right? Yes, you are, right. But, people say he is the Son of God, as in, Father and Son. Oh, don't you worry about that Father and Son thing. It is not literal but, a parable, as, in, way of speech. So, it is not like, Apollo and Zeus, in Greek mythology. Yes, it is not. Only illiterate people with no wisdom say the way it is. So, it is just a figure of speech, a parable and a metaphor. You are absolutely, correct. Am I right to say that Jesus was just a messenger from God, as he came from God, and he was not the God? Yes, he was the Word of God. The Word of God means, someone who hears directly from God and speak of it from his mouth. So no wonder he said in John chapter 5 verse 30 that he can do nothing by himself but whatsoever he hears, he will tell the people. Yes, he also confessed that he was the messenger sent by the only true God in John chapter 17 verse 3. Oh, now that I know, why he said, my father is greater than I. Jesus told him to worship the father as in John chapter 4 verse 23. Oh really? Jesus said no point to call him, Lord, Lord, but never do and obey the commandments of God. Jesus said in order to live life in the hereafter, you are to obey God and do righteous works. In the end all will be judged by their deeds. But why some people have faith in the resurrection and death of Jesus is justification of their salvation? Well, to begin with, that is not the teachings of Jesus but the teachings of Apostle Paul. To begin with, Apostle Paul was not one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. So who was Apostle Paul? And how he became an apostle? No one appointed Paul as an apostle. He self-declared as an apostle. He never learned from any of the disciples. Even Peter said he was not mentally stable. He used to slaughter Jesus' followers. That is interesting. But how can we prove Paul is a false prophet or apostle? Paul teachings are contrary to Jesus' teachings. For example, Jesus preaches repentance as the way to God. But, Paul preaches the atonement of sins as the way to God. What other pivotal proof to show him to be the liar? Circumcision is one covenant with God. Paul preaches circumcision of the hearts instead of the flesh as commanded to Abraham and Ishmael. So the followers of Jesus must be circumcised as commanded to Abraham and Ishmael. Even Jesus was circumcised on the eighth day. Jesus said an animal is better than an uncircumcised man. Wow, that's too much. Paradise is not cheap. You can't gain entry without works.